we need to dig a ditch right along this uh, building and I asked for a 12 inch bucket which this thing has the problem is this grapple right here is way wider than the bucket so we have to remove it otherwise it's gonna hit the metal building so that's what we're working on right now that's if you can get it started do you remember how this control was when you started it earlier? It was up. Yep. <laughs> <I'm bad. laughs> so what we're trying to do is uh, get the weight off of that pin because uh, we're trying to drive it out and I think that'll do it. Yeah, that should do it. See if you can drive it out. I don't want to bend it. Watch your hand. All right. It's definitely greased. <laughs> oh, we got to put this back in. We did this all wrong. Now that I look at it, <sighs> no, I don't think there was another way to do it. No, there's because this is just tied in. This has right. to go back in until we get the pivot point back. Yep. Dang it. All right, let's put it back in. It's just the tip that's coming. All right, so I left this state in there. Pull so, it out. no, I can't pull it out because then this one will fall. No, that should be held by hydraulics. <laughs> this is held by hydraulics. If we remove that, this will fall. So we have oh, to actually hit it down. Yep. So we actually okay. gonna have to push it farther in. Uh, All right. Oh no, we don't. We can like. I mean, there's tension on it, right? Make sure my feet on it. There it is. Good job right in the way good job <laughs> this is our priority <laughs> exactly in the way <laughs> you could have literally put it anywhere else i was the one carrying <laughs> uh, that's funny all right so wait 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 let me get on that oh you get on the excavator and we'll just push it down until it lines up no need to work too hard. Slow, 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 slow. Now go that way. Oh, too much. Come back. Oh, oh. Come back, come back. A little more. Too much. Go the other way. Keep going. Right there. Uh, right there. Right there. Right there. One handed. All right. It's in. Now we just got to drive it home. I wonder if we were supposed to have those washers in there. Because all, all we're doing is using this as the pivot point for the bucket. If we put the cl claws back on, then we have to use the spacers in between. Well, except, except, remember what the problem was. This was sticking out too far. So we may have to put all the spacers on one side to keep it away from the building. Otherwise, it may oh. slide out and hit and catch the building. 
you know, become a can can opener. We don't want that. All right, back to work. Freaking battle, battle of the buckets. <laughs> hey man, I'm used to doing this on my own, all right? See, now you got help. Complications and battle of the buckets. Oh, here we go, look at this. Down, there you go. Oh, clink. Oh, Hulk smash. I got it that far by hand. This is, this is precision construction equipment. That's what this is. All right, so it's all the way in. Uh, now we're gonna figure out where the spacers are gonna go. This thing pivots this way. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna trench along this building. So we're gonna make sure that pin isn't sticking out the wrong way. Plus we gotta tie this cylinder up hang on let me see which way we're gonna pivot this thing you know what i just noticed what? while i'm sitting up here that's a quick detach uh thing for the bucket all we have to do is drop the bucket and it would have been a lot easier because we wouldn't have to we wouldn't have had to deal with the weight of the bucket oh well it's in all right so this thing pivots to the left which means we're gonna push that pin this way and make sure that all the spaces are on one side just to make sure that it doesn't slide out while I'm doing this ditch. The other thing, excavators have two different controls uh, or operating patterns. They have what they call the standard ISO and the other one. <laughs> this one is set to the one that I'm not familiar with. So I need to figure out where the lever is to switch them over because like I said, this, this is uh, set up the, the way that I, I'm not familiar with. And obviously the controls don't move the way I need them to move. So typically it's here, you know, they usually have a lever, but maybe in the back, uh, there's, there's a place for it. Well, this thing's locked. Come on. Ah, there it goes. Uh, maybe in here. It's typically in the hydraulics, so this is the motor. I don't think it's going to be in here. It's usually in the hydraulic, uh... Oh man, it's hard to do this with one hand. There it goes. Um, I don't see it here. Oh, there's a lever down here. Nope, just hoses. If I don't find where that's at, I'm almost certain that I'm gonna hit the uh, the building because this thing moves the the a different way than what I'm used to. Okay. All right. There's. Uh, can that one open? Oh, it's been hit. Well, it's ha I, I bet you it's under here. All right, so we can't open the door, but is it is it back there? See, that says standard, and then more right here, it says OPT. Okay, just now, flip it. Well, can you reach? I can't reach it, but <laughs> can I turn it? <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can't open this thing then, because it's, it's behind here. All right, there's gotta be a way. All right, so this door is binding it. So we're just gonna remove this door and then we're gonna be able to open it. 
Fun, fun. Oh, you can get that out. There it is. Here it is. Oh, all you have to do is lift it. Rotate it. That's it. Perfect. See, that was easy. So this one goes under the other. There it is. All right, man. There it is. Perfect. Like new. Now, you know what? Let's find a way to tie this thing because it's just hanging there. And I'm afraid it's gonna rip these hoses off. Uh, let me go get some rope. Perfect. Now we can get to work. Oh yeah. We still gotta move this thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's a really tight fit. So you turn the machine that way and then you pivot 90 degrees and there you go. And like I said, <laughs> it's a really close fit. So that's why I had to get rid of that because it's just, really really tight all right off we go now finally once i get done with the building or with this beam things are going to get a lot less stressful but right now it's snug I, i'm feeling mean i'm feeling Tonight I'm feeling mean, I'm feeling mean Tonight I'm feeling mean Gonna make an ugly scene Tonight I'm feeling mean, I'm feeling mean Tonight I'm gonna pick myself a fight Good. 